Hey everybody, Hunk Papa Chef here. Today we're going to make easy homemade tacos. This recipe is not one to miss. It's great. Let's get started. To start this dish we're going to use one pound of ground turkey. You can use ground beef as well. We want an onion. Uh, we're going to use about a half cup chopped onion and then also uh, chopped jalapeno. This is one jalapeno which I've de-seeded and just chopped real fine. And we'll need an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. We're going to use one half teaspoon each of cumin, salt, and oregano. And then we're going to use a full tablespoon of chili powder. Give it some kick. And of course we need some tortillas that we're going to fry up for these tacos. And let's not forget we're going to need about a half cup to a cup of canola or vegetable oil for frying our corn tortillas in. And for garnish we're going to grate some sharp cheddar cheese and also some diced tomatoes. We're going to dice up some avocado and finish it off with some chopped cilantro. Let's go! First off we're going to chop and tail the onion. and peel it, and then we'll cut it in half. We're only going to need probably less than half, but we'll use this side. That should be enough right there. We're looking for about a half cup. Again, our jalapenos are already chopped up, but what we're going to do now is measure out our dry ingredients, starting with cumin, one and a half teaspoon or so. Our oregano, we're going to do the same amount. And salt, level off a half teaspoon. And then on the chili powder we're going to use a tablespoon. You can use less if you like, but I really like to kick this up a bit, add some heat. There, that's good right there. So what we're, we're going to do is take a non-stick skillet, get it hot on the stove, Add just a couple of glugs of olive oil. Then we're going to add our onion and sweat it out a bit. Okay, I've been sauteing the onion here on medium to high heat for about two minutes. You don't want it to brown really. We're going to add our turkey right to the pan. And go ahead and break it up. And mix it in with the onion so it can brown too. Alright, our meat is browning up nicely. You want to break it up into smaller pieces as you saute it around. And you'll notice with turkey it gets a little bit wet. The onion and the turkey will give off some water. What I like to do is just keep the flame up and that will cook out. Another option is to just drain it and then pour it back into the pan. Okay, this meat's looking good. A lot of the liquid's cooking right out. And what we want to do at this point is add our jalapeno and our dry ingredients. The chili powder, oregano, cumin, and salt. And we're going to add now as we mix it up our tomato sauce. And you can kind of gauge this. You don't have to use the whole can. Um, I like to do a little bit at a time just to see how it uh, mixes up in there. This is a pretty good sized batch so I am going to use the rest. And we want to keep it on the medium to high heat so that this cooks down as well. Yummy. Look how delicious that is. Everything's mixed in there pretty well. What we want to do now is turn the heat down to about low to medium. I'd say more on the low side. We want to let this simmer and let all those flavors blend together for about 15-20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to let the meat continue to simmer on another burner here. And in the meantime, I'm going to get a new skillet. It doesn't have to be non-stick. And we're going to kick the heat up on this and put some oil in here. Like I said, about a half cup to a cup of vegetable oil to fry our tortillas. So when our oil is to temperature to put in a tortilla, we're going to just kind of let it cover it. And then with some tongs, you very carefully want to, while it's still pliable, fold it in half and let her cook. 
and give it a little flip here. Whoops. I let them go about 45 seconds to a minute on each side. You can fry them up however you like, depending on the crunchiness that you like your tortillas to have. Again, this is hot, hot oil. You want to be very careful. No kids running around the kitchen, anything like that. Okay, we're going to take this one out and just drain it. And I put it on a plate with some uh, paper towels lined on there. We'll do the next one, same thing. Cover it with the oil. Fold it in half. Probably bring the heat down just a tad on that one. There, so we're going to do all the tortillas like that until they're all done. Alright, and now what we've been waiting for, we're going to plate these tacos up. What you want to do is get a spoon and spoon some of this delicious meat that we've made right in there. A little bit of grated cheese. And I like avocado next. Just kind of place it right on top there. Some tomatoes. Mm. And lastly, some chopped cilantro. Gives it that nice little twang. Beautiful. And there you have it. A beautiful plate of homemade tacos. Very simple. Enjoy.